stress eating, constant access to the kitchen, and closed gyms. For many, it has added up to weight gain. Some doctors are calling it the quarantine 15. It will take both time and planning to get back into shape. You will have to go to the store or order food. You will have to read labels. You will have to prepare the food. If you're working in an office, you will have to figure out how to take it in. When considering a meal or exercise plan, ask yourself, can I stick with this food plan for the next six to nine months? Is this workout plan realistic based on my current activity level? I think the research shows that if you do both the meal plan and working out at the same time, it increases the possibility that you will stick with it. After starting your new plan, stay off the scale for 90 days. Instead, use other ways to gauge your success. You could do body performance measurement with uh, heartbeats per minute, or you could do it uh, based on how much weight you're pushing or how many repetitions you're doing. You simply can't go for long periods of time and be completely deprived. That there has to be a moment where, yes, you can have some cake or you can have some fried chicken. And I think that's why diets fail sometimes, too, and that they'll go on a meal plan, but there is no plan to cheat. Reaching short-term goals can help achieve long-term goals, such as lowering cholesterol, preventing diabetes, and heart disease. All steps toward boosting quality of life and extending the lifespan. I'm Bill Prasad, your mental health and wellness expert.